So today's video is about a book review. The Genius of Islam is basically based on uh, the history, the Islamic history, what Muslims were and how like uh, intelligent people they were and their contributions to the modern world. And it's quite a good book. Oh, wow, this is such a good timeline, like the BC, like 2,575 and uh, to 1,075 BC. There was classical Egypt. Then 753 BC was the founding of Rome. 490 to 330 BC was classical Greece. And then there is like circa 8 to 2 birth of Jesus, then AD. Sassania of Persia was 226 to 651 AD. 300 to 800 was classical India. Then 312, um, the emperor Con Constantine converts to uh, Christianity. And 476 is fall of Rome and beginning of the European Dark Ages. And then this circa 570 is like around this 570 is birth of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. 613 AD Prophet begins preaching Quran 618 to 907 AD is the Tang dynasty in China 622 is the Hijra Muslims flee to Medina and 638 Muslims conquer Makkah this is a very beautiful uh, timeline like we can draw it on a graph paper or a graph chart 632 that of death of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 661 is the beginning of the uh, schism between Sunni and Shia and then 756 is Western Umayyad dynasty founded in Cordoba, okay, the Cordoba, the Spain. Then 764 is the Abbasid dynasty founded in Baghdad and uh, then around 764 is the House of Wisdom founded. Mm, and then this is like Batul Hikmah. Then 1054 is Western and Eastern Christianity split. Then 1299 to 1922 was the Ottoman Empire. 1341 was uh, Petrarch crowned poet laureate beginning of the Renaissance. 1400 to 1511 is the Milaka uh, Sultanate. And uh, 1453 is the fall of the Byzantine Empire. 1492 is fall of last Muslim state in Spain. 1526 to 1858 is the Mughal dynasty rules India. And uh, 1798 to 1801 is Napoleon invading Egypt. And end of World War I is 1918. And 1923 is founding of the Republic of Turkey. 1924 is the Mustafa Kemal that abolishes the Caliphate. So, it's a good timeline. Then it starts about the beginning like how Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he came the, that background that whole thing. Now they are just telling about the Abbasids and okay. And then hmm. an elegant hand. Okay. Mm hmm. So they have given us the Kufic script, the Naskh script, the Sulus and the Diwani script. And this is the beautiful calligraphy. This is zoomorphic calligraphy was developed in the 15th century. It's questions and stretches the Arabic letter to create recognizable animal and human shapes. This peacock is formed um, from the sentence. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim in the name of Allah, the beneficent and merciful, which begins every chapter of the Quran, but one. Mm. Then a paper empire. So they were writing so many books, like about Hadith, about Tafsir, about the Sharia, about all the laws, and so good. The new math, yeah, the modern numerals, and then they are telling us like how much they 
resemble the eastern and the western arabic numerals like the western are like the same as the modern numerals yeah so their contribution to the maths then repetition is good for the soul So astrolabes and all those inventions that Muslims um, created. Yeah, the agricultural revolution. Wheel and all that stuff. Yeah, excellent. Piston. Yeah, there's a medical thing that the surgery and contribution to the eye and which eventually like in the field of optics, especially Abu Hatham. So it led to the mm -hmm, discover, uh, invention of the uh, camera. This is more about the Ottoman Empire and their culture. So this, uh, the main thing about this book is like, um, he is like very, I should say, ke he has done justice in telling about the Islamic history. And not only that, he also like I can read something and I can tell you more about it like that deleting the Muslim philosophy from European universities so this was a uh, Petrarch was the uh, classical scholar the the father of humanism so his idea was to just get he's demanded the expulsion of all Arabic learning and many people who uh, like influenced were his ideas his uh, philosophy they uh, just like followed him blindly and they deleted everything like all the Muslim contribution that was made and uh, they claimed the Muslim inventions as their own and replaced the Arabic star names with Latin ones. It took centuries but eventually like it took a lot of centuries but eventually the Muslim contributions to the West were barely a memory to all but scholars of the obscure. So this was a very I should say a um, very prejudiced uh, attitude of the West towards Muslim, and still it is. And their uh, books are lost, and so uh, this is a very good book. Must read.